Hey, Hickok 45. That's a large center fire cartridge, isn't it? 50 cal. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's center fire because the primer is right in the middle. Just a quick little uh, basic uh, piece of information about center fire versus rim fire. You know, there are people, maybe not you, who are not sure what we're talking about when they hear uh, center fire and rim fire terms you know, thrown around. So let's just look at it really quickly here. This is obviously a center fire. Uh, the rim fire is like our little 22s you see there. You see the where the rim's been hit. I just moved them around. <laughs> Maybe you can't. But uh, the the cartridge has been fired because the firing pin or striker hit the rim of that little case, and you can see the indention there. That means there has to be priming compound uh, all around the rim because how would you ever line it up? You know. Uh, so wherever the uh, firing pin hits, strikes it. Uh, it has to go so the uh, priming compound is all through the base of that the rim all right for that to work and fire the bullet no kidding right so uh and the rim fire by the way the 22 is generally considered to be the first rim fire cartridge the first cartridge the the flobert uh, i believe was uh developed by the french in around 1840s uh, for uh, some kind of uh, gallery gun it just had the the priming compound didn't even use powder so it was a very light really short 22 caliber cartridge just for indoor you know plinking and that sort of thing of course the little bb caps and things you can buy now i guess close close to that perhaps and but it was rimfire and then in 57 1857 uh smith and wesson came out with the 22 revolver 1857 and it used the 22 short which actually had powder in it some black powder in it and of course the priming compound, it was a rim fire. It was, you know, it was the 22, the 22 short. So you might've thought that came along a little bit later, but 1857, in fact, some Civil War soldiers carried one of those in their pockets, can you believe that? So, I mean, it's not widely publicized or you know, talked about, it seems like, but it was out there and not a lot of people had it, okay? So, so the rim fire. Now, another thing you might not be aware of, but the rim fire up into the 1860s, uh, it, even the large caliber, like this 45 you're looking at, of course it's a center fire, but the, uh, the Henry rifle you might be familiar with, the, the really cool you know, brass frame and everything, the Spencer rifle, 56 caliber, you may have seen those. Uh, there are reproductions of those made. Very, uh, very, uh, well, I'll say uh, desired. Uh, repeating rifle in the Civil War. Not many people had them, I don't think, but that Spencer rifle held six or seven rounds, 56 caliber. 56 caliber, big case, bigger than this. It was a rim fire, okay? So was the 44 Henry, you know, the Henry rifle. That was center fire, or excuse me, rim fire, okay? Just a big rim fire, just a version of this, but a lot larger, right? And uh, even the 1866 Winchester, which still had the brass frame, if you're familiar with that, that was... Uh, I guess the last, or was the, the model before the 1873. So the 1866 Winchester brass frame, it also was a center, or a rim fire. I'll get it straight in a minute, right? It was a rim fire, okay? So so we're still using rim fire cases and cartridges uh, up until, you know, I guess, the late 1860s, primarily for big board stuff. And then uh, then we had the advent of the, uh, the center fire cases and the 1873, uh, of course, Colt, the one I'm holding here, and that's when you get your primer, you know, and I've punched that one out, and of course, with the reloading machine, I can put a new one in like that, put powder in, and the bullet, and we're ready to go again, right? I can't do it by my hand. I have to need my uh, reloading press, but that's the advantage of center fire. Plus, it's much uh, more reliable, really. Uh, it's rare that a primer fails to go off. It can happen, of course, but it's, it's rare, whereas you know from firing 22s, that, uh, and that's basically the only rim fire. Well, you got the, what, the uh, Winchester uh, Magnum, the 22 Magnum, and there are some other newer uh, small uh, cartridges I don't really use much, I'm not as familiar with, that are rim fire. But uh, they're not quite as reliable as the center fire. Okay, so rim, mostly when we're firing rim fire today, most of us are firing the 22 long rifle, probably, right? Or the short. Okay, so center fire, and then of course, Almost all of our modern cartridges, anything big bore, you know, the 50, the 9 millimeter, 45 ACP, there's a 357 Magnum, there's a 500 Smith & Wesson, there's a 3030, a 4570, 410 shotgun, 12 gauge shotgun, 50, it's all center fire, okay? Because the primer is in the center of the head. So that's one thing 
uh, one term that actually makes sense in connection with firearms. You know, some things don't make sense. You have to try to figure out what this caliber means, a 30-30, a 30-06, and, you know, the, it, it, sometimes it's a little confusing. With this, with center fire, it is fired by a primer being right in the center of the, the case head, okay? Life is good.